I'm David. And I'm Donovan. We are Gator Gamer News, or GG News for short. Our first topic of is our yeah, is our game of the day, Fortnite. It's just released a PUBG styled game mode called the Battle Royale. The game is a cartoony style game that is effectively a crossover between Minecraft and Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. Gameplay is very simple. You jump from a plane and it's grass in a storm. You try to find your, or make things that can to kill people with or kill other survivors and try to be the last one standing at the end of the game. However, you can gain resources such as wood from cutting trees, stone from mining, and various weapons and ammo scattered across the map. This adds a very large new dynamic to the game of being able to create your own guns and ammo, which is vastly different than other Battle Royale games in the market, such as H1Z1 or Player on those Battlegrounds. The game is currently set to be full free-to-play release in 2018, but the developers have promised that there will be no advantage for paying money in the game, which is a very big deal to most free-to-play gamers. The developers seem very responsive, as they have recently banned thousands of cheaters from the games even while developing the game, which is an act unheard of in most other games. Ultimately, we're giving a 7 out of 10. Although the game looks very fun to play, it is not original and somewhat in innovit innov in innovative. The UI is confusing and the game has a high skill cap, which don't help new players. The main gameplay and graphics are great, however, and we suggest you pick it up for free at EpicGames.com. However, now on to some news on the most popular game on the App Store, Clash Royale. Supercell released an update this Monday for Clash Royale, which included a revamp of the free chess system, an update to the shop, new quests, and new game modes such as Touchdown, Mirror, and Gold Rush. Several cards have been balanced as well, but there are more li no likely changes to the meta. You can up on the App Store or Google Play Store for free. Finally for today, a new indie game was released sooner called Cuphead, which has led to very positive reviews with a Metacritic score of 89%. The game follows an animation and music style of cartoons in the 1930s and is a two-player game. However, there is one catch and it has earned this game its popularity. It is very hard, neither of us can beat it, either if we ch even if we work together. However, it doesn't distract from this game, it's breathtaking visuals and music. It's still fun, despite the difficulty. I highly suggest that you play it. The levels and bosses are genuinely fun to learn, the art style is amazing, and it's a challenge for even the best gamers. Pick it up on Steam for $20. We promise it's worth it. That's for this episode of GG News. Keep on gaming, Gators.